Hey guys and welcome back. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie and today I'm going to be doing a Shein haul. It has been a while since I've shared some of my favorite Shein finds, um, so today I'm sitting down to do a little try on haul. Everything in today's video is under $25, so, so with that being said, everything is super affordable, super trendy, and today I'm giving my honest opinions on I think 15 pieces. Um, if you are interested in seeing how I style these things, be sure to head on over to my blog stylebymckenz.com or my Instagram stylebymckenz. I have shared almost every single one of these pieces styled on there except for the swimsuits that I'm going to share So if you are interested in seeing um, them on how I style them and a little bit more of how they fit um, Be sure to check those out without further ado. Let's hop right in So I do have quite a few two-piece sets throughout this haul just because I think that two pieces are the easiest piece ever to wear um, I love a dress and a jumpsuit, don't get me wrong, but there's something like really awesome about a set that you can get three outfits out of it. I love wearing the pieces together, I love a top with a separate bottom, and I love the bottoms with a separate top. So there is a lot you can do, it's definitely getting your bang for your buck. This first two piece I have is kind of like hard to see with just holding it up, but it is just a floral wrap top. I really love this pattern, I think it's super springy, um, a little tropical vibe. Um, it does have two buttons in the back and then it does tie in the back, which which you'll be able to see in the try on. The pants are just super stretchy with an elastic waistband. I do stray away from Shein pants if they um, don't have an elastic waistband just because um, they always tend to run a little big. I do have a 25 inch waist and I do make sure to check the size charts for each um, piece that I buy, which is how I avoid miss. The times are few and far between when I get something from Shein that I don't like just because I do like to do a little investigating before I um, get something. So these pants are really awesome. They do hit just at my ankle and I am 5'2". Um, so they're definitely supposed to be like a cropped style. Um, I love these. They are a little bit sheer. But sheer. Now, I do want to clarify something. When I read a lot of reviews on Shein before I order something and I always, always, always read people's reviews saying, oh, I don't like this. It's super sheer. If you're not wearing a nude bra and nude underwear with something, like, obviously you're going to be able to see your undergarments through a white piece of clothing or something that's like 100% polyester like that. That's the way it is. So don't comment that something's sheer unless you've tried to wear it with nude underwear. Like, that's, I feel like that's just a given. I don't know if maybe that's just like a me thing or not, but I um, pretty much always have on nude undergarments when I'm wearing something from Shein and then if you can still see it then I would classify it as sheer. The next pair of pants I have just look like this. They give me such Mamma Mia vibes. I love the mustard and white stripes. They've got a huge bell um, bottom. They are very very stretchy again with the elastic waist. They do have a drawstring right here but the drawstring is fake. Um, however because it is such an elastic waistband like these fit perfectly fine. They are a little bit long on me. Next up, I have another two-piece set, and this is probably one of my favorite sets ever from Shein, just because it is amazing quality. This is 95% cotton, 5% spandex, which is what makes it so good. It's literally the softest, stretchiest material ever. I love the bottoms. They kind of fit like yoga pants. They're pretty high-waisted, and then they do have like a little bow right here. The bow doesn't like, it's not, it doesn't make the waist any tighter. Um, but it is just there for decoration. The pants do split up. They stop at about where your shorts would start. So you do have most of your leg exposed. They do flare out a little bit. They're a very, very flattering pant. And then the top just looks like this. It does look like it's super low cut, but it's actually not when you have it on. Um, I mean, it definitely makes your girls look good, but it's not like super, super revealing. I love the little ruffle on the top and the little pebble is super cute. I cannot wait to wear this top with white jean shorts. The next piece I have is a dress and it's kind of hard to tell. You'll have to wait to the try on to really see um, what it looks like. It's strapless. Um, it's got a lot of ruffles and then obviously part of your like back slash stomach is a cut out because this is what the skirt looks like. Super cute. It's just got ruffles, one right down the middle and then a couple on the sides. The back ties, which is what holds it up, um, which is why you can't really tell what it's supposed to look like, but you'll see the try on. The 
this next set is one of my favorites and I mentioned that I don't really order sets that don't have an elastic waistband. Um, I have a 25 inch waist and the skirt said it was 26 inches on this and I was like, mm, it's so cute, I'm gonna give it a go. It is just a navy, a navy. <laughs> This is just a red pleated midi skirt. It's super, super cute. It hits at a very, very flattering spot. I love the pleats. Um, this does sit a little bit lower on my waist than it is intended to, just because, like I said, it is a 26 and I, my waist is about a 25. Um, but this is still super cute. And then the top is probably like my favorite part. I think it's so, so stinking cute. Um, this is the front of it. It looks really small when you hold it up, but there's so much elastic in it that it literally can spread out so much. It does have adjustable straps, so no worries. And it does have an under layer, like it is double lined. If you see, there's like this layer and then the pleats lie over top. The skirt is just the pleats. Um, so it doesn't have that double line. With something like this, I would wear a sticky bra as I would wear with most Shein pieces, just because bra straps are like my biggest pet peeve ever. Um, I hate seeing them. Like I just, mm, there's something about it that really, really bothers me. So pretty much anything that has like a thin strap, a fun cutout, anything like that, I would just wear a sticky bra with. My favorite one is from Target. This next romper is something, again, that you probably won't be able to really take in until you see it on. It is just a mustard, cute shorts, elastic waistband, and then it does tie in the front, which you will see in a second. Super cute. I love rompers for like graduation parties and stuff like that. I find that they're just super easy. I love dresses, don't get me wrong, but a romper is like super, super easy if you want to be able to move around and be active when you're wearing something. Um, so that's why I tend to choose rompers, just because I think that you can be a little more mobile in them. The next piece I have is a jumpsuit, and I love Shein jumpsuits, but I do have trouble with them sometimes. This was probably um, the piece out of this haul that fit me the worst and it still fits pretty good so that's saying a lot um, like I said I always read the size charts it's this is a completely smocked tube top um, but it does have straps these self tie which is awesome so it's really hard to not fit your body when it does have self tie straps I'm trying to tie this and this is such a fail anyways the problem with this jumpsuit is the crotch is kind of low on it um, I don't feel like I have a really short torso, but maybe I do. Once I tried this on, I was like, well, the crotch feels super low in it. However, like you can't really tell, like it's not uncomfortable by any means. You could definitely still wear this, but just be wary of that if that's something that like turns you off. This jumpsuit does come in five colors and is under $15, I believe. So this one's definitely a good piece. Just be aware of the sizing. The next thing I have is another two-piece, of course, and this one's yellow, shocker, my favorite color. Um, this is a top that ties in the front, as you can tell, you can't really tell what it looks like now. It does, you could wear it as a wrap top as well, but I obviously am tying it in the front. And the shorts look like this. They are just, again, a yellow and white stripe. This is definitely on the smaller side for a set, so do be cautious of that. I would definitely size up one in this. Um, like I said, I am 5'2", and these shorts like just cover your cheeks. Um, and I never really have that problem with Shein, like with something being too short, truthfully. Um, but this set is definitely on the skimpier side, so size up. I still love it. It's super cute. Um, definitely would have to wear nude underwear with this as well. I have been getting a lot of white dresses lately because if you do know I am a senior in high school and I graduate this week when this video goes up which is so so crazy um, this dress is in the running for one I might wear to graduation I have a couple of other options but I'm not sure which one I'm gonna wear yet this is just a gorgeous white eyelet lace it does have a really really pretty detail at the bottom it does have a longer sleeve so if your arms aren't your favorite um, part of your body this is definitely a great dress it's a little bit longer than a short sleeve shirt it does have a deeper V so it definitely does make your boobs look nice you do have to wear a nude bra with this because as you can tell this part is not double lined but I found 
found that like you couldn't tell that I was wearing a nude bra underneath like you wouldn't need to wear a slip with this or anything. These shorts are some of my favorite, favorite things I've ever gotten from Shein just because I think they're so darn cute. Um, just look at them. I love paper bag shorts so much and it's very rare that I reach for shorts. I'm pretty much a two-piece set, skirt, jumpsuit, um, romper dress kind of girl, but these are so, so fun. They have a multitude of colors in the pants, obviously, so there's a lot you can do with this. You can wear it with white, yellow, orange, blue, like anything that you want. Um, they do have like a little hook right here, um, but then the belt obviously does cinch the waist, which I found was super, super nice. Um, that's how I kept them on. I'm wearing them in a size small, and these are a very, very good length. They're definitely like an appropriate length by all means, um, and these are under $10, which I thought was awesome. Also, the baseball team loved these when I wore them. They all told me they call these my tablecloth shorts, but everyone seemed to like them. Um, they were definitely a hit when I wore them. This next dress is my least favorite thing of all the pieces that I'm showing in today's um, haul. Just because it's not what I had expected it to be. I read it that it was going to be 100% polyester, but when it came, I just was like surprised, I guess. I don't know why. Um, but it's a lot cuter on than it looks when I hold it up. The bottom is just a yellow pleated with a lettuce head. Least favorite thing about it is just that it is a little bit deeper than I'm used to. I would definitely have to pin this, I think, just to make it a little more appropriate. I'm not one that really likes to have um, my boobs like falling out of a dress. Um, and because this is just a little big on me, that is what happens on me. But the hem is really, really cute. The sleeves have this fun little, I don't even know what you would call this, To contrast the last dress, this is probably my favorite piece I've ever gotten from Shein. And that's saying a lot because I have tons and tons of pieces from them, obviously. Um, I've had this set in my wish list forever, but I have just never added it to my cart. Um, the, it does have bell sleeves. These aren't full length. They are a little bit cropped. They hit just at your wrist. And they've got two tiers of ruffles. The top is all elastic. It's meant to be worn off. But again, it just has one tier of ruffles. And then the bottom is not elastic. It's just like a free little thing. You do have to wear a strapless bra, sticky boobs, nipple covers, something with it. The reason I hadn't put it in my cart is because, again, um, this said it was a 26 inch waist and I was like, I know I'm going to get it and it's going to be too big, but I was like, fine, like, I'm just going to try it. And this is the most flattering skirt ever. It fits my waist like an absolute glove. Again, it's not elastic. It is a zipper waist. This is the perfect length on me. It's not too short to the point where your butt's hanging out, but, um, it does make your legs look super, super long and tan, obviously because it is white, just two layers of tassels on the bottom. So, so cute. I think when I was talking about the top, I said ruffles, but I meant tassels. Anyways, I love this, and this is something I'll definitely wear without the top as well. I'm saving this one for Beach Week. I do have three bathing suits that I want to share with you today. The first, I'm going to go in order from least favorite to favorite. Um, so this first one is just a blue and white stars bikini. I think that this is adorable. Um, and it does have one of these clasps, which aren't my favorite, but um, they're a little like hard to, to function. But once you learn how to use them, they're fine. Um, the top fits great. It does have cups in them. They are pretty big cups. You can take them out if you want. I'm not one to really take out the padding and things just because I don't like to nip through things. I don't. I know that that's like trendy for some people, but I just don't prefer it. Bottoms are a little big, which is why this set isn't my favorite. Um, it does have pretty good coverage to it. Again, just the blue and white stripes. Um, again, a high-waisted fit, which you will see all three are a high-waisted fit. And um, I don't usually reach for high-waisted. I have a few high-waisted bikinis, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab some high-waisted because I don't have many. Um, these are just a little bit big up top, which is why this isn't my favorite. But I kind of knew that when I ordered this. I knew that it was for a 26-inch waist, but I was like, oh, it's so cute. You could definitely still wear this, but just I would be cautious going under waves and stuff, like diving under waves, just because the bottoms are a little bit loose. The next 
one is a lemon print and this top is just one tube of fabric. It doesn't have the clasp, which I find fits me a little bit better. Again, you can remove the straps. This top overall is a little bit tighter. This top probably fits me the best out of all three bikinis. Um, Again, you can remove the pads. I don't remember if I said that already. The bottoms are a little bit more high-waisted than the other one, and I like these ones better. These do sit a little bit higher on your hips, which is nice. They are a little bit cheekier, but again, still a very family-friendly bathing suit. I really like this one. I think it's super cute, and lemons are definitely on trend. These fit a lot tighter than the other ones, which is why I like them. Um, because I feel like I could move a lot in this like I could swim in this and just really like I'm someone that I love to dive under waves and like be active at the beach be thrown over like stuff like that you know what I mean like I love to play in the water um, these definitely wouldn't be going anywhere like I could get knocked out wiped out and these would still be fine they are super cute these sit very high up on the waist making your um, stomach look really good so if your midriff isn't your favorite a high-waisted style is really the way to go um, these are again they're a little bit on the cheeky side but they're not like anything crazy and then the top is just a black solid tube this top is a, the smallest of the three almost a little too small I do wear a size 34 B I found that the material from the inside was like coming out of the ribbed when the pads were in just because it was a little too small so I took the pads out and this fit perfect the only reason I would go like padless with something like this is because it's black and so it really doesn't matter you can't like see anything through it but a really really well made bathing suit I think this one's under ten dollars so you truly can't be beat Um, that's going to be all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. If you would like to get 15% off your Shein purchase, be sure to use the code Q2StyleByMcKenz. Um, I'm always appreciative if you use my code or you shop through my links. It does help me out. Thank you so much to Shein for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or requests, be sure to leave them below, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks, guys.